Yo, what's up guys? So this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to overclock your controller. All you're going to need to do is plug in your PS4 controller. I have mine plugged into the back of my PC. Doesn't matter. So uh, this is how you connect it to play most games or just overclock it, I guess, if you have a different way of connecting it. This will make it so you have no input lag. Trust me, this way it works. So what you're going to need to do is go to this website. The link is in the description. Just click the link. Go to lord of mice github whatever this is uh get the uh download the zip right here get it all open and then once you have it downloaded you're going to need to go into the search bar right here type in hid usbf that's your folder you're going to go to driver and then click setup and then yes now you're going to see the screen you want to switch mice to all and now on the bottom you're probably going to see your controller that's connected it's going to be red though uh, so mine's green because I already overclocked my controller but when it's red that means well obviously you got to overclock it so uh, what you're going to need to do is just press uh, restart but also hold down shift while you're doing it so just hold down shift then press restart and then I'm going to pick it up on my phone and show you guys what to do from there all right, guys, I'm holding shift. I pressed restart. Just chill out for a sec. This is uh, this is how you overclock your controller with zero input lag. So, like, all the pro cob players use this. So, yeah, I mean, you can let go of shift now. All the pro cob players use this, like, nameless. I got the file link from, so, I mean, I mean, it works. You guys can trust me on this. Press troubleshoot. Go to advanced options. Go to startup settings. And then you can just press restart here. So we wait. Wait a sec. Alright, now you see number 7. Disable driver signature enforcement. You're going to press the number 7. So now you're loading up. You disable your drivers. Now no matter what, that thing that was red, or on my screen was green, but it'll turn to green now if it was red before and now you can load up any game you want and it'll work i can promise you that i can't really show you any proof that it works but just believe me on it all right so here we are we load back into our computer and i'll pick up on the big screen all right so now that we're done with that you can open back up your uh, hid usbf folder Go to setup, and then on your screen, it would be red before, but now it's going to be green just like mine. That means it's overclocked. You can load up any game. I promise you, no bullshit. You will have no input lag, and your controller will work. There is absolutely no reason why it wouldn't be working. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If this helped you, please like, comment. If you comment, I'll reply to every comment and make sure that I get, th I get this working for you. So, uh, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was quick, easy and should have taught you everything you need to know. All right, see you guys.